Hello world and welcome to another lesson by YourTempVision.com. This is going to be a Windows 10 and this is for the sighted world. These are for all the people who want to adjust their Windows 10 to actually make it easier to see. I'm using a two pound little tiny uh, laptop. Uh, so it takes me a little bit longer to use these tiny, tiny little keys, but let me just show you these tricks. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to hear uh, your right click on your desktop. This is somewhat uh, familiar uh, for your Windows 7 also, but let's go ahead and go in here. Now I have chosen a solid background. The reason why I've chosen a solid background is because most of you know I teach the blind. Talking software just works better with a solid background, but you can drop your uh, drop down menu right there and you can choose a solid color. You can do slideshow. You can choose a picture, you can choose to fit, or whatever you want. So that's where your personalization picture is. At this point, I want you to go back to your themes over the left-hand side of your screen and click your themes. The next thing I want you to adjust is your mouse pointer. Okay, now I click that and you think, what happened to it? For whatever reason, it pops up in the background, so I just alt-tab to it. You can also see it right down here on your taskbar but I alt tab because I just like that option better. And what I'm going to do is I've got the windows default, which is not that great or easy to see. So I'm going to go down to extra large inverted. That just happens to be uh, one of my favorite. Okay. Let's see where my extra large scheme is. How about this one? Oh yeah, that's nice and white, but if you do white, yeah, white stays with white. So let's go ahead and go down here. Okay, so why? Yep, nope, still don't like it very much. So this is what you do in order to see your different options of your keyboard. There's my system scheme. And let's go ahead and do your extra large inverted. And there it is. Now the reason why I like extra large inverted is because, uh, oh, I have to apply it before it's gonna change. So apply, and now my black is black over white, and then if I go over top of a dark, there my mouse turns white, and I love that. Now let's go ahead and go to pointer options. Okay, so here's my pointer options. If I wanna see this easier, here's all my different options. My favorite one, though, is show location of pointer when I press the control key. So even when your mouse comes completely off your page and you have no idea where it is, if I hit my control key, I can actually find it and move it back. So I love that option and okay on that. Okay, so the next thing, let's close that. Let's change the type. These are pretty small icons. So I want you to hit your start key. Your start key is your uh, door and avenue to the world. And I want you to type in control and go to your control panel. Now, here's where basically everything is. We love that. Uh, but I'm gonna go to adjust screen resolution and click on that. And then I want you to go to advanced settings. Now be very careful here. A lot of people will go to their resolution and they will put it down here, 1024 by 768. And it does make everything larger. The problem with that is you're going to have to do a ton of scrolling back and forth in order to see everything. So when you go to make text and other items larger or smaller, it only makes them larger on the page. So here's my title bars and I'm going to, and it's nine. That's the default. That is teeny, teeny, tiny. But my monitor is very tiny. So I have to be careful how large I make it. And if you really have difficulty seeing, make it bold. Okay. Make it even easier. So I'm going to apply on that, and then I'm going to go through and change some other options. So go to your title bars. How about my icons? Yeah, I want to see my icons easier. So I click 9, and then I go to 12, and I apply. And anything on here, so if I start PM, minimize. Oh, yeah, look how much easier my icons are to see. We love that. And Alt-Tab, and we go back. You can adjust everything on here and just make it easier to see your menus your title bars your icons uh everything this is just a wonderful option and a way to make it uh, easier to see let's close that out now another thing uh, my clients have been telling me is they do not want cortana and they do not want your task view so this is how you and then you've got a lot of icons you do not want to use 
let's just get rid of the Microsoft Store right there. So you just put your mouse over top of it and right click on it, okay? And unpin this program and click and it disappears. Now, when you want other things to disappear, you're just going to go to a blank spot, okay? On your taskbar, and it's called taskbar because this is where all your tasks are, and right click on it. And here is where we deal with Cortana, okay? Hide it, hidden. You can't actually get rid of it. It's part of the Microsoft uh, program, but you can hide it, get rid of it so it doesn't bump into, so you don't bump into it. Right click again, show task view button. Yes, there's a ton of commands that go along with that, but if you don't need the product, get rid of it, and there you are. Um, I also, for easy access, just be aware, Microsoft will stop supporting Internet Explorer. Mozilla Firefox is one of my favorite. Uh, so you can download that, but of course you have the new program Edge, which is also works well. But I like options. Okay, so those are your tricks with Windows 10. So go out and be powerful.